All right, hey guys, Matt from Adventure Fit Outs here. Just finished this medium wheelbase sprinter. Time for another walkthrough video. Just up here at Port Kembla, a neat little new location we're scoping out. So, this is a 2021 medium wheelbase high roof sprinter, 4x4. It's the V6 with the true high low range four, four wheel drive. This van came to us as a partially started DIY fit out. We've kept his floor plan, you know, and his intentions, but just finished it off to a nice, really nice high level. This van's a Tenorite grey van. We've done our adventure fit out stripes, inspired by the storyteller guys over in the US. Kind of three shades of grey stripes look really nice on this tenorite grey van. It's so up front, we've got the CA tune bar, Bush Ranger winch, we've got some Baja LP6 lights, black rhino wheels with a 265 7017 KO2. We've got the um, Van Compass 4.3 suspension kit in there. Really nice bit of kit. Our van side steps. Flare space flares with the sliding window. Fama awning and wedge tail roof rack up there. On the back, this is like the ultimate our van setup. You know, you got your ladder tire carrier. B2 carrier with a large expedition box, one up bike trays, just the ultimate setup for the back of the sprinter, in my opinion. This customer wanted to fit the Kmar auxiliary tail lights, different sort of light to what we usually fit for the auxiliary, but um, quite like these, They're a little bit chunkier than the other ones we use, but ended up looking quite nice, I think. So you get a large expedition box for now. Really nice, well made bit of gear. Adjustable shelf in there as well. And there's just storing your wastewater hose in there. Around this side, pretty much the same. Flares, windows, side steps. Just a really nice, clean, clean van. So we'll jump in the back here and take a look. We oh yeah, don't forget the blacked out badges. All right, so storage, storage, storage at the back, plus a kitchen. So we have three massive storage drawers. They're on like 1,200 long runners. We've got some dividers in there that the owner can set up. Another big storage drawer in there. It's just massive. Another one up top, and then here, a neat little setup. A little outdoor kitchen, because you'll see on the inside, but this is his kitchen space, the only kitchen space in the van. Neat little angle 32 litre fridge. A couple of drawers, nice. Blacked out Blum runners, soft clothes, and these are our CNC machine billet aluminium latches. Nice hexa finish with a bamboo bench top. Then out here, got this neat little gas gas cooker. This thing absolutely rips. So yeah, big drawer system, storage system. Oh, and up here, we're not reinventing the wheel, but these are little Molle panels and some bags. So those Molle is like a US military spec sort of system. And there's a bunch of guys in the 4x4 industry that use this kind of pattern in some aluminium panels that you can hang bags and things off. So yeah, we've just done those. 
up on those doors. We are going to bring out a set to suit these lower door cards as well. If you take take rid of take off the uh, factory plastic. On this side here, we've got some 240 compressed air, neat little shower thing, and then there's just some additional sort of storage under there as well. Big enough for some camp chairs. So we'll go inside, take a look. And this is an example of how much can you fit in the medium wheelbase sprinter. And this electric door. One thing I don't like about the electric doors is they're quite unreliable. So, we have five seats, an internal toilet and shower, massive fridge, and a double bed. So, it's pretty amazing to fit all this in a medium wheelbase sprinter. And this was the floor plan, you know, originally intended by this owner. He supplied the seat, he supplied the shower pod, and we kind of had to make it all work. So, go through everything in a bit of detail. This is our headliner shelf. We do these with optional black L-Track up top. You can put hooks in there. You could even technically use one of our shore components bike mounts and mount it off there as well. Wrapped we're upholstered with factory plastics up there. Up top we've got a bamboo slatted ceiling, blacked out max air panel, neat little sort of storage cubby up here with some USBs in there. Internal shower, you'll put a little polder potty in there. So we also get a toilet. Got this neat little like flexible door panel. One thing this owner wanted was just no rattles. In the last moto van that we did the um, shower in, we used the tambour door and it was a little bit rattly, whereas this one here literally like tucks into, into that. Pretty neat. This shower head is actually also the tap. So yeah, it soaks up a lot of space this shower, but it, um, it's handy to have on the road. So then here we've got a Victor Frigo 140 litre, I think it is. Slimline fridge. Got some light switches there and we're just storing our awning winder there as well. Up here, Kamek microwave. And just the fridge panel. So. This owner had already kind of pre-wired in a Red Arc Red Vision system. I'm not a massive fan of these, but gets the job done and is a pretty reliable system. So, bed area. You've got a decent sized bed here. You've got a custom upholstered 100 mil foam mattress. Got the flare space cutouts here. Got some USBs and diesel heater controller there. Flare space. If you order on the windows, they actually come with these magnetic covers. Neat little slider. Up here, we've got another little cubby to hide your phones of a night. Got this skylight, pretty neat skylight that we've painted the, the trim black on it. It's got a built in light as well, which is pretty handy. And we've got these overhead storage cubbies. Again, just using Blum hardware all throughout the build. Really nice, soft close. You can set the height of it so it's not going to smash your ceiling, not going to come down hard on your head. Just a really nice hardware system. So yeah, Sirocco fan in there. Using the Terra Wagon rear trim tidy kit we stock. Just really finishes off that rear door area quite nicely. Upholstered panels, this is what we would call our summit lining system. So these are CNC cut 6mm birch wall panels which are then upholstered. So 
down here. You've got a little step to help you get up into the bed and a diesel fan head. So we're actually running a um, diesel heat DH9 system in this for hot water and the Kalari fan head as well. Tiny little package. So yeah, I think this is about as much, this van has as much equipment as you can comfortably squeeze into a medium wheel base sprinter. I think we've finished it off pretty neatly for the owner. I think he's gonna be stoked. And we'll see you for the next one. Peace.